Hi, Paul. Hi, Carrie. It is such a pleasure to speak with both of you. I'm a huge fan and you guys were absolutely fantastic in the film. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, thank you, Sophia, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Paul, we missed you at New York Comic Con. We missed you and everyone yeah. loved oh. the film, just so you know. <laughs> oh my God. I was so bummed to miss that. I'm in London right now and everybody was there and it's, it's the, it's such a, it's such a drag when you know everyone's together and you just, I just wanted to be there so badly. And, uh, you know, you have that, yeah, you find, you find yeah, you find yourself those moments. You're like, they're doing it right now, right now. They're <laughs> probably watching, you know, I was, I'm having all of the thoughts. You got, you got a lot of love, don't worry. And, uh, the dynamic between your characters is so fun. What can you sort of tease about that without giving too much away? Oh, we get to have a nice, good old fashioned movie flirtation, I would say. And it's a lot of fun, especially working with, you know, of course, Paul Rudd has been doing these improvised comedies for longer than I've had a career. Um, that's not a knock. That's just I had a late career. So <laughs> I was really happy to get the opportunity to um, to to play in that way with Paul Rudd is, is as delightful as you can imagine. It's um, He's just as nice and talented and funny as everybody thinks he is. I wish I could say something controversial, but I can't. It's just true. He's just really delightful to be around. Well, thank you, Carrie. I think that I was just so fortunate. I'm such a Carrie Coon fan, as is anybody, right? That, um, and I was excited to work with her. Excited to work with her. So happy to get to know her. She's just, she is so super cool family obviously it's like the most talented family there is um and uh not only that to get to work with these kids it's like we get to we get to kind of play these fun roles but really it's like we get to kind of stand back and watch these incredible actors and kids take this story and run with it and we were both of us so impressed with you know with uh, McKenna and Finn and mm -hmm. Logan, who this was like yeah, his first, his first thing movie ever done, and yeah. Celeste, and they each offer so they're like they're they were they're so talented, but they're such good kids and fun to hang out with, and they had such enthusiasm. You know, it, it's so nice to kind of show up at work every day, and um, everybody's just so pumped to be there. They're so excited, yeah. and um, and it was palpable. You know, I think we all kind of cottoned on to that a little bit and and paul i do have to ask you a question and carrie if you have an answer shout it right out for me but <laughs> which is cuter baby groot or baby puff marshmallow i don't know carrie are you going to shout anything out because uh <laughs> i feel you know uh, boy i tell you there's there's they're both really cute the thing that's weird about the marshmallows is they're so cute and squeaky, but they're vicious. <laughs> like they, they, they are, there's, they're dangerous. You didn't they have a good love, relationship with they them. They love murdering <laughs> each other and they <laughs> laugh when they're getting cut in half and burned. And, you know, it's, there's something really a little upsetting about it. Whereas, you know, baby Groot is come on. I mean, Little, little icon over there. there. So. <laughs> I have a toddler right now, and Jason said he modeled the baby marshmallows uh, after toddlers because they're just really curious and they don't really care what the consequences are. And I, I can relate to that having a toddler running around, a three nager as I as I call him. They're, they're gonna love the little marshmallow. Then one's gonna latch onto that. <laughs> Watch it happen. And they're very cute. You know, I actually, my, my father and I went to Comic-Con together and we got to see the film and we both. Oh, how it. sweet. Yeah, it was, it was really great for me to see it with him. And I, I just loved the theme of family. I thought that was really beautiful and important. Mm -hmm. All age groups, all generations are going to enjoy this film. What does that mean to both of you to be part of a project like that? Oh, that's the reason you do a film like this. I mean, the, the, the most important thing for me when I decide whether or not to do a project is the script. And this is a very strong script. And when I came in and read it, I was very moved by it. And Jason and Gil took the time to invest in those really specific relationships of that family and the struggle, the stakes for the family are real. And so it doesn't matter if you're a fan of the original um, movie, you will find something to relate to in this movie, as you pointed out. And as you found when you saw the, the film with your own father, I mean, those, those themes are really, um, they're kind of the age old stories that we, We've been telling over and over and over.
Did you did you and your dad have a history with Ghostbusters? Did he like it? Yes, my up? dad did showed you? me Ghostbusters when I was younger. <laughs> yep. So it was it was <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely. a really cool way to experience this movie then to get to see it with him. That's 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 really great. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's going to be a great fit. Everyone's going to love it. And I, I thank you both for giving me that time with him and giving me a film that we both can enjoy. And it was such a pleasure to speak with you both. Thank you for taking thank the time. Thank you so much. Have a great Thanks day. So